Before last week, most people in the Durham area must have thought it'd have to be cold enough for a certain subterranean location to freeze over before their small town Ontario arena would be swamped with Montreal Canadian supporters. But it turns out minus two or three is enough, which was exactly the temperature on November 19th when the Habs alumni came to town to take on former West Grey players for Warriors weekend. There's a lot of energy going on here. There's a great crowd. What all goes into the preparation behind getting this event together? Uh, first off, uh, I would say a group of great people committed to it, countless hours put into it, and uh, a desire to do something for the community. Yeah. We started about a, oh, a little over a year ago planning this and uh, have a good committee and uh, support of the community around has really made this a success so far today. So. There was a lot more to the day than just the alumni game. Fans had the chance to see every level of West Gray minor hockey play a game, and those who bought VIP tickets had the opportunity to meet and greet former NHLers, bringing out the inner kid in fans of all ages. Well, this is a special event for us, uh, especially for me personally. As you can tell, I'm a Habs fan, and uh, it's great to support the community. And, and just really, if you look around here today, you can see how important it is to the community, and we're just proud to be a part of that. Now, you are a Habs fan, but you're also from the area, so who do you root for in a game yeah, like this? Well, the West Gray Warriors, uh, hopefully we'll give them a good game, but in the end, we'll uh, always cheer for the Habs to pull it out. Ron wasn't alone. There were many fans excited to meet some of their favorite players, a notion the pros picked up on instantly. Yvonne, a lot of these guys started from small towns, places like this. What's it like now to come back and help out with fundraising events for everybody? Well, it's really nice. First of all, it's good souvenir for us. And every time we come to a small uh, municipality like that, the people are so pleased, they're so enjoyful. It's good for us, ex-hockey players, and I guess it's really good for the population here. What's it like looking around a place like this, the heart of Ontario of all places, and seeing so much of the Blue Blanc et Rouge? Like That's exactly what Keith Acton just said. I can't believe how many fans uh, the Montreal Canadiens have all the way out here and it's the same thing when everywhere we go it, it is absolutely amazing um, how important that 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 franchise is and uh, it, it is it is absolutely amazing to see how, how much uh, people love the, the Habs. Every other Saturday night in Durham the hometown crowd is on the side of the Warriors knowing they had home ice advantage West Gray captain Jim Yunker was brimming with confidence. So I was gonna ask you what your chances are here today but yeah they've, they've come with some some big names haven't they? They're slim and none. Now we do have guys like Gary Rao on our team that are 55 years old and have played beer league all their life. So we think we have a fighting chance for 30 or 40 seconds. After that, they probably will take us out at will. But as a fundraiser for minor hockey, I'm um, all over it. Um, we're hoping to hand it to them, but then I saw their, uh, their roster come aboard and I know we're going to get it handed to us. So The West Gray players did all they could to take every advantage before puck drop, including playing mind games with their Leafs apparel. Unfortunately for them, the Canadians are still pros, even in their post-NHL careers. I can tell you one thing. If they don't want to lose, they've got to start slow. Because if they start hard, we adjust. So it's all about adjusting, trying to keep it fair. But as long as we, 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 we get to make a good show out of it and, and nobody gets hurt, then everybody's happy. It didn't seem to matter how the Warriors started out. The alumni team proved that though their speed may not quite be what it was, their hands were still great, their shots were still hard, and their hockey IQ was as sharp as ever. Uh, yeah, it's fantastic. The speed's good. Uh, you know, they anticipate your plays a little bit more than the guys in the local beer league do. Um, so it's, it's, yeah, it's a lot of fun. They were kind of saying they're just going to fill you out for a while and see what you guys have and then they'll adjust their game. Do you guys have a similar kind of thing you can step up to here? I think we're in trouble then because the first period might be all we have. So if they go up a notch, then we're, we're in trouble. The Warriors also found out the alumni weren't above playing dirty. They dug deep as the game went on trying to match goals with the Canadians, but were unable to do so in the end as the Habs won the game 10-6. The big winner on the day was West Gray Minor Hockey, who both pros and amateurs alike were glad to help. Well, it certainly uh, reminds me of when I was younger and I had to, to sell buttons and, and, and try to do all kinds of fundraisers so we could go to tournaments. Uh, I do know what it's like to be from a small town. My, my hometown is probably about 8,000 people now. It was certainly appreciated when people did their part. As, as we're trying to do now. We've been through it, you know, we, we played minor hockey, we were young before and then uh, we've been through it, so it's, uh, to be able to get, give back and help out, it's, it, it's great, you know. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you don't miss out on any of our content by clicking subscribe here.